Let's do this. Hi, Mary Bell. How are you? Hi, Jamila. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I am doing well. Please share with us who you are, the organization you work for, and um, the services you guys provide. Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Maribel Martinez, and I am the uh, financial coach slash uh, coordinator for our Fairfield office. Uh, what we do is we help families and individuals reach financial stability by providing them with employment and credit services, um, as well as connecting them to resources. We screen them for benefits to see if they may qualify for anything um, and just helping them in whichever way we can. That's good to know because I've, I've heard of Spark Point, but not knowing exactly what services they provide. This is a great resource. Yes. And the best part of our program is that all of our services are absolutely free. We're, we're funded through United Way of the Bay Area. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. So yeah, I got to get this information out, especially yep. right now. Like you guys are needed right now. Yes. Know, during this yes. time. So what lessons have COVID taught you all? Um, I think resilience is something that um, comes to mind. Um, you know, even with everything that's going on, we as a SparkPoint team are continuing our services from home, uh, but we are definitely there for the community, trying to serve them the best we can and provide them some support and assistance, um, you know, even through just, just phone conversations, providing them with those resources, letting them know that everything is going to be okay. You know, sometimes that's all it takes. They just need someone to let them know it's going to be okay. Uh, and once we can get back into our offices, we'll be there face to face to be able to provide the services again. But for now, we are still keeping in, hanging in there, staying strong and helping. Okay, that's good. Support is important. And yeah, yeah. just to hear like, everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Like, you know, everything's going to be all right. Yes. That's great. That's great. So that's good to know. Um, so in what ways do you see the community, you know, rising? Um, with this COVID-19 happening? Like. Um, I think uh, what, what I see is a, a lot of support. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been nice to see um, all the resources out there, uh, all the networking, all the, all the programs out there that are coming and, and supporting everyone uh, mm -hmm. that is in need right now. You know, even like with you know, the school still providing meals for the children, um, our kids are the future and we need to continue to support families, you know, single moms, sing, just single parents that, that definitely need the support. So I just love seeing, um, you know, all the support and all the love that's being poured back into the community and, and everyone around to help. We, we are helping each other get through all of this. Yes, this is important. I was thinking about the five protective factors, which, um, you know, parental resilience, this is what is I mean, all of us is learning in this, um, with this COVID-19. So parental resilience and concrete support in a time of need, you know, yes. there's a lot of support out there that's, that's um, helping the families. Yeah. Okay, so it's census day, you oh, know, yeah. we want people, we, try, we want to encourage people to go online at 2020census.gov to participate in the census. Can you educate the viewers on the census on the importance of participating in the census yes yeah, so i've you know what i've been having conversations with my clients is letting them know that this is we are the change the people are the change our vote counts so we need to make sure that all of our families and all of our children are being counted so we can you know that we depend on the funds being allocated that way right so if we show them where we are who we are uh we are able to receive a little bit more more money into our community right such as yes. for transportation, uh, for healthcare, into our schools. Um, there's a lot of areas in Fairfield that are not being counted and we need to make sure we tell our, 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 you know, our community members and everyone that lives here that we need to be counted. It's very important so our children can have more support, mm -hmm. right? More, more money, more support, um, and we all can you know, turn our community into a better place. Yes, which is important. Um, because the, you know, when people aren't counted, it's like the less people that aren't counted is the less power we have, mm -hmm. um, the less voice we have, the less representation we have um, nationally, um, 
statewide and locally, like especially with um, our seats, you know, with the senators and the, the U.S. representatives. So Absolutely. thank you. Is there anything else that you want to share? Anything else? Anything? No, I just want to let everyone know, you know, to keep your heads up. We will get through this. We are tough. We're, you know, our community um, is here for support, you know, um, and if anyone is looking for any employment or credit services, uh, please feel free to, to reach out to SparkPoint. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you, Jamila. Uh,